Now this is a part of our service that Reverend Gail doesn't really know about. She's probably wondering why there's so many people in the sanctuary today. Um, and besides the fact that it's delightful to be here, this is Clergy Appreciation Month in the United Church of Christ. And we thought, who better? Who better to be appreciated than our Reverend Gail? So we have three of our deacons here today. Wendy is presenting some beautiful flowers to Gail from all of us. You can. <laughs> so I'm facing the other way since uh, Alan put up this wonderful new uh, new screen and microphone. But Gail, I think Gail knows every day that we appreciate her, but especially at Clergy Appreciation Month. Um, and we have uh, a responsive reading that will be up on your screen for those on Zoom. And this is um, a prayer that Tish Hamlin, one of our deacons, put together. And we hope that you'll, um, I will read the leader part. And if everyone at home can unmute and contribute to the all sections, as well as our two deacons that are here in church will say this too. Hopefully you'll all hear it. So, anyway. Okay, this is a responsive prayer in celebration of our minister. Our Jackson Church community would like to express our deepest gratitude for our minister, Reverend Gail Pomeroy, doctor. <laughs> we are a stronger church because of her faith, her passion, and her commitment to fellowship. We, we give all thanks, thanks to and all the Reverend Gail and our great hearts. Heart. Bless Reverend Gail's family, her husband Chris, and daughter Sarah, and son-in-law Nehru, for their loving support of her ministry, a ministry that demands tireless commitment and self-sacrifice, changes of plans, and calls at all hours. We, we ask, ask that, that you bless the family, family hold them safe, and the light, and the light, of, the light of God's love. Bless Reverend Gail and all spiritual and community leaders who promote unity and love, no who lead by people. example, who understand that through courageous conversations Can't and listen. random and deliberate acts of kindness, our I community and our world is a kinder and more inclusive home to it's all of God's it. children. Because that's really all it is. Lord, yeah. Hear our, our prayers. prayers. Unity. For unity and community. And the community. When hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the kindness of our friends, our friends, and 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 our Bless this space and virtual space between us, brought on by the COVID pandemic. We fill this blessed space with our prayer concerns, our sorrows, and our joys. We are grateful, too, for the music that fills this space and are mindful of the wonders of the technology that make this virtual worship a reality. We, we give, give thanks, thanks for connecting and sharing in a time, in a time, of, time of social, social distance. distance. And we pray that you those who those who are there to bring, bring us together, 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 together and remind us we, we are one final people, people in fellowship. We pray so that our words may be lifted up in God's, in God's holy light. Please join me in the unison blessing. Oh, oh Holy oh, One, we ask yes, that you, you watch over Reverend, Reverend Gail, Gail as she moves through her days. Holy One, we ask you to cover her as she tends to the sick and the lonely. Watch over her as she watches over her as she celebrates unions and passages. Celebrate unions, be present, and she her always and remind her of the importance of the self-care and self-care. Please join me in the unison blessing. Oh, Holy One, we ask that you watch over Reverend Gail as she moves through her days. Holy One, we ask you to cover her as she tends to the sick and the lonely. Watch over her and preservation be the light of the, 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 the mountains, mountains the wild rivers of our valley, and her strength, and solace, and respite in her days. And now we have a prayer for Clergy Appreciation Month that Laurie will read, and you can all, you'll be able to see it on your screen and listen as Laurie reads the words. Good Lori. morning. That was really well done by our dear friend Meg. This is a prayer for Clergy Appreciation Month. God, grant clergy the serenity to accept churches 
and the people in them the way they really are. The courage to challenge them every week and pray for them every day and wisdom that's based in nimble and resilient love. Live streaming one worship at a time, zooming one meeting, one visit, one wedding or funeral at a time, absorbing anxieties of this coronavirus season around illness, isolation, education, financial well-being, and the daily risks of essential workers and medical personnel while still holding a course for peace, taking on, as Jesus did, the fearsome realities of political life, believing in reconciliation in spite of divisiveness, speaking the names and never surrendering truth. Let those clergy be reasonably happy in this pandemic autumn, for you are the source of miracles and able to point others to both daily joy and eternal grace. Amen. Thank you. So we want to thank Gail and everybody at home. If you'd like to unmute and you can say yay, amen, or clap your hands. Yeah. And the word. Amen. Yeah. 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 God bless you, Gail. We love you. I uh, can't understand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You are, you are blessed. <laughs> <laughs> My husband helped keep that secret, I'm guessing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, thank God for Chris. I, I, I was crying over here. Sorry, you guys. Thank you. That was beautiful. And totally a surprise. I didn't even know it was clergy appreciation month. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. You deacons and everybody, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Tish for writing this very special prayer that was unique to our church. Yeah, we, we, we tend to like have our own brand of worship, right? <laughs> we never just use the UCC version of things. So thank you. Wow. Um, I think that's another beautiful expression of Yukama, right? Like our own community. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't think we pause and celebrate our, our own community and each one of us. And I'm just going to say there's the UCC belief is that all people are ministers. And truly, that is how we've gotten through so much of what's happening right now because no one person, no minister, no music minister, no one deacon could possibly run around and take care of all of the neighbors and friends who have been feeling cut off or isolated right now. And so it has been the, the communal love of many neighbors and friends giving rides, uh, bringing meals, visiting people even in the hospital, taking people to very long distance medical care, bringing them the newspaper, calling, writing notes, all the different things that people have done in their own capacity to love each other and keep each other connected. Just, you know, this is, it takes a village to hold up a village in these times. Um, so thank you. And may I just say that whatever gifts you, find in me it's because you're giving them back and they are flow, flowing back out so you know it takes all of you to help make what we're doing as a church possible so thank you thank you and <laughs> four four years four, coming up on four years yeah and in fact i think like next week is sort of my anniversary of showing up here um and who knew we'd be doing this in our fourth year like covid but um, you know, uh, yeah, I showed up right on the eve of uh, the first, uh, the last political election. So it's been just one cycle of a presidency and world, world pandemics and fires and everything else and all the amazing things that have happened. Mm -hmm.